And therefore, the results in Zaragoza established that our estimation procedure was trustworthy. We then looked at the same figures for the warehouse in Artejo. The key observation here is that in Artejo, the estimate of the model's impact on sales was not centered on zero and instead was positive for each, mat, each pair of articles and actually averaged 4.1% across all the articles considered. Even after subtracting the previous estimation error of 0.7%, these results showed that the new process based on operations research had the potential to increase sales during the selling season by 3 to 4%. A 3 to 4 percent might not seem like a lot at first, but given the scale of Zara's operation, this corresponds to an estimated realized financial impact of $233 million in additional revenues, or approximately $28 million in additional income for 2007, which is the first year in which the, actually it's the year when the full-scale deployment was concluded, was completed. In 2008, which is the first year when Zara used the new process for the entire year and for all its articles, the corresponding estimated realized financial impact would be $353 million in additional revenues and $42 million in additional income. There are other operational metrics that we measured which are also very relevant to Zara, but their financial impact is harder to estimate. For instance, we measured the display cover ratio, which is the fraction of time an article spends on display and not in the back room during its life cycle. After the pilot, we estimated that the model could improve the time on display by 3.5% from baseline, baseline levels of 80 to 90%. Another metric that we considered was the fraction of items that are transshipped to another store or returned to the warehouse. Clearly, if inventories are allocated correctly in the first place, this ratio should be smaller. Indeed, we measured a 19% decrease due to the new distribution process. You will now see a short video in which Miguel Diaz, Zara's chief financial officer, elaborates on the overall impact of the new process. <laughs> I was very interested by the LEAF pilot experiment conducted in 2006 to evaluate the new inventory distribution process because this experiment was designed to quantify the increase in sales specifically attributable to the shipment decisions based on operations research techniques relative to the legacy manual process we have been using so far. This experiment demonstrated very clearly that the implementing OR model had a positive impact on sales. This increase in sales can be explained by the model's ability to move excessive inventory away from low-selling stores where it's not needed and send it instead to high-performing stores where it reduces missed sales due to stockouts. This positive impact is also due to the model's ability to ship individual sizes of each article to every store in a concerted manner. Likewise, sending inventory of a specific sizes only where it's likely to sell. In addition to the increase in sales, we have also observed that the model helps to reduce transshipments between the stores and increases the time an article spends on display within its life cycle, though the financial impact of this is harder to measure. For a couple of years now, we have been at the point where every item found in any Zara store worldwide has been shipped to that store based on the output of the new distribution process. All our shipment decisions are now supported by OR. And remarkably, this has not diminished, but rather expanded the role of the employees in the distribution team. Antes de comenzar con el nuevo sistema de distribución, pensábamos que teníamos que hacer una ampliación en nuestros equipos. Una vez implementado el nuevo sistema, nos dimos cuenta que podíamos tener una estructura estable de acuerdo al crecimiento de nuestra empresa. El gran cambio en el sistema fue de pasar un sistema totalmente manual a un sistema mecánico y de análisis de datos. This project has also had a cultural impact on Zara. Specifically, Zara has initiated two additional major OR projects in the areas of purchasing and pricing. And Zara is now also actively seeking to recruit graduates with a strong operational research background. In addition, within the Inditex group, there are plans to deploy the new inventory distribution process in some of the other retail chains, such as Massimo Dutti. 
The success of this project has shown that operations research can significantly contribute to ZARA's strategic goal of improving the scalability of its operations in order to support its continued growth. Quite trendy for our CFO, huh? <laughs> okay, after his words, I will provide a brief summary of the impact and contributions of our work. To the best of our knowledge, this work constitutes the first reported application of award to the retail business strategy of fast fashion adopted by companies like Zara. The responsiveness to the market requires solving a large, time-sensitive, and mission-critical distribution control problem. We formulated an advanced stochastic model capturing display policies that we were able to do approximate yielding a tight MIP formulation. This model was intended to be used by a large number of real-time users, therefore the solution the, the implementation required a distributed IT solution. Then we measured the impact of the new process through a controlled experiment. Though this methodology is fairly common in other disciplines, its application here to our practice is noteworthy. In particular, we were able to measure a substantial increase in sales in the order of 3 to 4 percent, which represents $350 million in additional revenue in 2008. We also, we also verified that the new distribution process increased the average time spent on display by 3.5% and it reduced transshipments and warehouse returns by 19%. Moreover, these improvements were achieved without making any major capital investment. And in the words of Zara CFO, the new process contributes to Zara's strategic goal of improving the scalability of its operations. From an organizational standpoint, the project had a positive impact on the distribution team. In fact, they have become enthusiastic users of the new tool, gratefully seeing the res their responsibilities shift from repetitive manual data entry to exception handling, scenario analysis, and process improvement. In terms of portability, we believe that our model has a high potential in the retail industry. A strong indication of this is that the Inditex Group plans to deploy the model in some of its other brands, such as Massimo Dutti. Moreover, if the issue of sizes is left aside, a simpler version of the model seems very applicable for other products with short life cycles that impose frequent rationing challenges, such as consumer electronics like cell phones. For the academic part of the team, this project had an enormous impact on our teaching, which includes several course sessions and seminars taught at many universities. It has also been a very formative research experience, inspiring additional projects involving OR practice. From a broader perspective, this project has been a successful and high-impact implementation of OR in, the environment, in an environment touching many individuals largely unaware of this discipline. It has been a really challenging and rewarding initiative to blend together OR and affordable fashion and see that both complement each other, and actually reinforce each other. We are therefore hopeful that our work will contribute to increase the awareness of OR and will help to improve the perceptions of its, of its applicability. In closing, we want to acknowledge many others that are not here today, but greatly contributed to this project and also to put together this presentation. Of course, we want to thank Zara and the two main uh, universities, UCLA and MIT, and several others that you can see there. From a more personal perspective, this has been an enjoyable journey that has established friendships cutting across nationalities, cultures, and borders between industry and academia. On behalf of the entire team, thank you very much for your attention and for the opportunity to present here.